Hello everyone, today's topic is Tryptophan Operon or TRP Operon and its regulation. If amino acids are not present in the nutritional medium, bacteria have operons that create the enzymes needed for their synthesis. If the amino acid is present, the operon is repressed and no biosynthetic enzymes are synthesized. The TRP operon in E. coli is an example of repressible regulation. The control of TRP operon is mediated by two regulatory mechanisms. We will only talk at one of them, attenuation. The TRP operon is made up of both regulatory and structural genes. The TRP operon's promoter or operator region controls the level of transcription. The promoter region is flanked by five structural genes tagged TRPE through TRPA. The structural genes are expressed as a single polycystronic mRNA. The five polypeptides encoded by this mRNA are responsible for tryptophan production. The leader region TRPL is located between the promoter or operator region and the structural genes. The region is transcribed into mRNA which is known as the leader mRNA. The leader mRNA has a brief open reading frame that is translated into a leader peptide. The attenuator is found in the leader mRNA and consists of four distinct sections that can fold and generate three distinct stem loop secondary structures via complementary base pairing. A transcription pause signal is produced when the region 1 and 2 are paired. When region 2 and 3 are paired, an anti-termination signal is produced allowing transcription to proceed. When region 3 and 4 are paired together, a termination signal is generated which prevents further transcription. Because bacteria lack a nuclear membrane, transcription and translation are coupled. While RNA polymerase is still transcribing the attenuator mRNA, translation of the TRPL mRNA can continue. The position of ribosome along the leader mRNA is crucial in transcription regulation. Regions 1 and 2 can pair to form a stem loop structure after RNA polymerase has transcribed region 2. This structure causes RNA polymerase to stop, allowing the ribosome to catch up. Subsequent transcription is tightly coupled with translation. Attenuation-based regulation is now feasible. When a cell is depleted of tryptophan, the amount of TRPT RNA decreases rapidly. There are two TRP codons in tandem in the leader mRNA. When the ribosome reaches these codons, it stops because the necessary amino acid is in limited supply, preventing the completion of the leader peptide. Because the ribosome covers region 1 of the attenuator, region 2 will pair with the region 3. This pairing acts as an anti-termination signal allowing RNA polymerase to proceed and translation to follow in order to construct the enzymes required to produce additional tryptophan. If the cell is not starving for tryptophan, there is adequate TRPT RNA for translation. The ribosome reaches the two TRP codons, it adds two TRP to the leader peptide. The ribosome then proceeds to the stop codon at the end of the region 1 of the leader peptide. This stops the region 2 from pairing with region 3. Instead, region 3 pairs with region 4, which is an RNA polymerase termination signal. The concentration of TRP tRNA in the cell is the crucial signal for the attenuation. If the cell lacks TRP and TRP tRNA, RNA polymerase continues transcription past TRPL and through the 5 TRP genes. Ribosomes use the polygenic mRNA to make the enzymes needed for tryptophan production.
If TRP and TRP tRNA are abundant, a short liter mRNA transcript is synthesized and transcription is then terminated, resulting in no tryptophan biosynthetic enzymes being produced.